In this video, I am going to show you how to reset the Mercury's AC12G wireless router. First, power on the router. Wait until the router LEDs are stable. Then press the reset button. You can see from here, near to the power connector, you can see the reset button. Once after holding the button, the old LED will be start blinking and the router will start to reload. Now the reset has been started. Once after resetting, we can access through the computer. Here I am already connected with the laptop and router. As part of accessing the router, we need to verify the IP of the router. By default, the router IP will be 192.168.1.1, but we need to verify with the network adapter settings. Once after verifying the IP, open the web browser, type the IP of default gateway which we have received on the. The first time the device is comes without password, so we need to enter the new password for the device. We need to remember the password always, otherwise, we need to reset it again. Once after entering the password, we need to confirm the password. Then press the continue button. After entering the password, the network connectivity option will arise. Here you can see the connection type. You can select. It is available with multiple connection type. PPPoE, L2TP, PPTP, static IP, dynamic IP options are available. If it is PPPoE, it will come with the username and password. If you are having WAN details, we can use with the details or we can do the option later. Here I am simply selecting with the dynamic IP option. Then press the continue button. Here you will get the option for wireless configuration. This is a dual band router. So it will have two wireless options. One is 5 giga, another one is 2.4 giga. We need to enter the password for the Wi-Fi access for both band. We need to use separate password or same password. For understanding the Wi-Fi names, always keep the name as different. Even we are using the same password. Now the basic configuration has been finished. We can try with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band for connecting the Wi-Fi. Once after logging the router, we are able to do the resetting option from system tools. Then press the backup and restore. Here you can see factory default to restore. That means it will automatically restore to default to configuration from the factory. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.